I was just saying, I don't know when it got cut off, but that building back there that's um, um, sort of concrete uh, sleeps 180 people in the winter. It's a winterized building with full heating. These are the children's dorms, cabins, only for the summertime. Uh, the total, it'll sleep about 300 people total. Um, within 10 kilometers of here, there are 42 lakes. There's a lake just over the hill, maybe 100 yards past this building, these two buildings here. Then there's another lake that we'll go to. There's also a sports field, a stadium that we'll get to. The heating system is all electric. She said that it would cost 5,000 euros a month in the winter time to heat, which is about $7,000 for the utilities. But during the summer months, it's about 500 euros, about $750 for electricity per month. The facilities are pretty good. Most of the roofs look good. New roof on the dining hall, new roof on that big building back there. It looks pretty cold and barren right now, but it looks like everything is actually okay for an old Soviet camp. They've done some upgrades, though many of the buildings need, really just need to be reworked. But it's been working full time summer and winter until just this last year. They're just to save money, they're not running this winter, but it's a good to get a camp where you could just come right in and not have to fix anything, it all works. And then you could do improvements over time. Here's the sports field, soccer field, forest behind. So I'll continue the talk, maybe when we get over to a lake.